Hello everybody and welcome back to Halo Ninja Warrior. Today we have the fifth and final episode of Tournament 12 and the last ever episode on the Xbox 360. In the last episode we saw our 12 finishers of the first stage take on stage 2. While some of the competitors struggled, incredibly 6 were able to successfully make it through the second stage. The fastest time went to returning competitor Alpha Puma and he was followed by Killer Demand, Hunter Unit 751, Go Tanks, the newcomer Fireball and Grand Champion Buddy Jumps. Today, these six elite competitors will attempt the third stage. With one last shot to defeat this course, our six competitors have fought their way through the difficulties of Halo Ninja Warrior all the way to the third stage. Never before have we seen this incredible balance of competitors take on stage three. From newcomers to Grand Champions, regulars to All-Stars, this will be their final shot at glory on the Xbox 360. One last chance to be remembered forever on this course. Before we move on from this console, we will see the experienced and the inexperienced attempt to fulfill the dream of becoming a champion of this course. Here on Stage 3, the competitors have 8 obstacles to complete. The first obstacle our challengers will face is the pole vault. Here you must cross this large path with no more than a narrow pole. After that, competitors will attempt a rope junction. Similar to the bungee rope climb, there are five ropes to jump across, with the third being lower than the rest. Then it is on to the Devil's Steps, where they must climb five steps on an inverted wall, and then cross over to descend four more. Once that obstacle is finished, the competitors will have to take on the crazy cliffhanger. After a two tournament hiatus, this obstacle is back and has been slightly modified to make it more challenging than ever. Next up is the Curtain Cling, which has taken out more competitors than any other third stage obstacle. Following that is the jumping bars, three poles that you must jump across in order to advance to the returning hang climb. This obstacle has not been seen since Tournament 3, but nobody has ever completed this obstacle. If they can defeat that, they will go on to the new pipe slider, and with those eight obstacles, they will have as much time as they need to get as far as they can. Now, with six competitors here to test their skills out on these new obstacles, let's finish off Halo Ninja Warrior on the Xbox 360. The first competitor to take on stage 3 is a newcomer, DHG Fireball. He amazed us all in the last episode when he proved that he could make it past the second stage, especially after the last tournament when only two people beat stage 2. But now a newcomer is here on stage 3, and he's only the fourth competitor to go on stage 1, so this is the lowest number we've ever seen on stage 3, and now he's onto the pole vault. Nicely done, gets right across it, now for rope junction. Now this second, alright, this jump right here is tricky because you gotta go down. That's what screwed up Hunter Unit 751 the last room, but Fireball has done it. And it looks like he's gonna complete Rope Junction. Nicely done, Fireball. Now for the Devil Steps. He's onto the first one. He's taking his time here, climbing at a nice pace. Uh, he's not going too fast. You don't want to go too fast in this obstacle, that's how you make mistakes. And, oh, it looks like he's not gonna go up to the top one. He gonna, he's gonna go straight across, and he does it. He's through the Devil Steps onto the crazy cliffhanger. Oh, he's immediately off! DHG Fireball just failed the first ledge of the crazy cliffhanger. Look at that, he didn't get close enough to the wall, and when he jumped for it, the ledge just rejected him. You can see right there, he didn't get close enough to it, and he just didn't get high enough to get on top of that ledge. Fireball is the first person to ever fail that early on the crazy cliffhanger. Well, it's a shame to see a newcomer put on such a good run to fail like that, but the next competitor is also making his first appearance on stage three. He's a regular of this course on his third appearance, Alpha Puma. In the last tournament, he made it to stage 2, failing on the metal spin, but he uh, he overcame that obstacle today, and will take on stage 3 the for, for the first time now into the pole vault, and he's done it. Oh, I guess he's happy to beat the pole vault. Alright, now for the rope junction. He's onto the second one. He's got to jump down to the third one. This one's tricky. Nicely done. Okay, now he's got to go up again. That, that's no easy, uh, easy jump there. Whoa, looks like he almost came up short of the fifth one, but he's through rope junction. Now for the devil steps. Okay, he's lining up for the first jump. And he's onto it. And I said, okay, this is where you gotta take your time to make sure you can get to the top of this obstacle. Okay, he's onto the third one. Can you get to the fourth one? Nicely done. Fireball uh, did not go to this last jump, but looks like Puma wants to go. Okay, nice. Puma's up to the top one. This, uh, this makes the jump easier. Oh, he goes down a step. Nice. And yes, Puma's through the devil steps. Now for the crazy cliffhanger. Hopefully he can do it. Clearly, he doesn't look uh, too excited to attempt this obstacle. But Fireball just failed the first ledge. This obstacle has been... Okay, good. He's got the first ledge. This obstacle has been made a lot more difficult since the last time we saw it. 
So it's going to be very challenging for Puma to get across this, but let's see if he can do it. This is his first time on stage three. Here he goes for the fourth ledge. He jumps. He goes across. And Puma sticks the landing on the fourth ledge. Nicely done. Now he's under the curtain cling. And he goes right for it. He's got the curtain cling. Amazing. Alpha Puma just destroyed those two obstacles. Look at this. He jumps across. And he gets a perfect landing on that fourth ledge. I could not have imagined that looking any better. And then he wasn't done there. Because as soon as he was done with that, he went right in for the curtain cling. And just destroyed that obstacle too. However, now he's still got three obstacles remaining to defeat. Uh, three obstacles remaining before he's done with the third stage. First up is the jumping bars. He's got the first one nicely. Now onto the second one. Right into the third one. And he's onto the hang climb. This is the obstacle that no one has ever beaten. In fact, no one has ever even landed the second rock. He goes for it. And he's got the second rock. That makes this the farthest anyone's ever gotten on this obstacle. Now he's up to the third one. Can't get the fourth one. He goes for it. Uh, no, Puma. He came up short. Or he just slid off. I don't know what he did. He didn't stick the landing on the fourth ledge. Look at this here. He got that first landing perfectly on the second rock. And they went for this third rock. That was also a nice landing. But this fourth rock is the smallest of them all. He went for it. And he just slipped right off. The, he didn't get a good landing on it. Still a very valiant effort by Alpha Puma. Getting all the way to the hang climb. But once again, a competitor has failed that obstacle. Still no one has ever completed it. But uh, maybe our next competitor will have some luck. Here he is. This is his fifth appearance on Halo Ninja Warrior and he is a veteran of this course, Kill It A Man. Kill It A Man is making his first appearance on stage 3 as well. The only the other time he has beaten stage 1 was back in tournament 10 when he failed the balance sink on stage 2. But let's see how he handles his first time on stage 3. Okay, he's sizing up the pole vault and he goes for it and he's across. Now for rope junction. He's down to the first one and the second one. Now down to the third one. Can he do it? Yes. Looking good. Now he's up to the fourth one. Over to the fifth one. And he is through rope junction. Now for the devil steps. No one has failed any of the first three obstacles so far. Now there are the two who have gone. Let's see if Killer Demand can handle this obstacle. He's up to the third one. Now is he going to go all the way to the top like Alpha Puma? Oh, okay. I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to go straight across. And nicely done. It's a tougher jump, but if you pull it off, it saves you a little bit of time, which you don't really need on this course. Now for the crazy cliffhanger. He's already done better than Fireball. Now Alpha Puma just defeated this obstacle. Can Killer Demand make the transfer? He goes for it. Come on, Killer. Oh, no. Killer Demand has come up short of the fourth ledge. As you can see right here, when he jumped for it, he looked like he had a good leap across, but he just barely came up short of the fourth ledge, and it bounced him right off, and he landed in the water. If he went just a centimeter further, I think he would have stuck it. But unfortunately... Kill a Demand has failed the crazy cliffhanger. But now we have seen the three first timers take on stage three, but the next three competitors have all defeated the third stage in the past. Our next competitor to go has proven to be a master of the third stage, and this time he has hopes to make history and become the third ever Halo Ninja Warrior Grand Champion. Gotenks is facing the third stage for his fourth time in a row. The first time he made it here was in Tournament 9. In that tournament, he got to the crazy cliffhanger, and when he went for the transfer to the fourth ledge, he was able to stick the landing perfectly. However, as he went for the dismount, he forgot to sprint and came up short of the landing, causing him to sink to the depths of the waters below. In the following tournament, Tournament 10, Gotenks was able to make it back to the third stage, but this time he shocked us all. Out of the six competitors who made it stage three in that tournament, Gotenks was the only one who was able to conquer the stage, and he became the first person to ever attempt the newest version of the final stage. He failed climbing the Heavenly Ladder, but then in Tournament 11, he made history and became the first competitor ever to advance to the final stage two tournaments in a row. Even though he failed at both times, he now knows what he needs to do in order to achieve total victory and to overcome all the All-Stars for the third tournament in a row. Gotenks has risen quickly on this course, proven to be by far one of the top competitors here. And he's on Stage 3 for the fourth time in a row. Only two other competitors have made it to Stage 3 four times in a row. Drago is sick and Hunter Unit 751. But here goes Gotenks. He's looking good right now. And he's all the way through Rope Junction. He made those first two obstacles look incredibly easy. But that's what he's here to do. He's here to show us how easy this third stage is. And he wants to make it back to the final stage for the third tournament in a row. That would be quite amazing to see that happen. He's climbing up the devil steps right now. He's got a little crouch technique going for him. That seems to work. And he's going to jump across too. He doesn't need the top step. Now he's climbing down the devil steps. 
Now killed a man and fireball both failed the crazy cliffhanger. Let's see if Gotenks can do it. He failed this out the last time he attempted it back in tournament nine. He's onto the second ledge. He goes onto the third ledge. Nice. Now it's time for vengeance. Can he make the transition? He goes right for it. And no, Gotenks! He's gone down on the crazy cliffhanger. As you can see, when he went for the transfer, I don't know, it looks like he came up short, and just like killed a man, he bounced off the fourth ledge. You can see right there, he just didn't have enough. He didn't go forward enough to catch the landing on the fourth ledge. And Gotenks has failed the third stage on the crazy cliffhanger once again. His old nemesis from Tournament 9 just came back to haunt him. And Gotenks has failed the third stage. This crazy cliffhanger definitely seems to be a lot more tough this tournament. This has already taken out three competitors. But surely our next competitor can handle this obstacle. Buddy Jumps is the first ever Halo Ninja Warrior Grand Champion and an all-star of this course. He first appeared back in Tournament 6 where he was one of the few newcomers who has ever managed to reach the third stage. In that tournament he became the only person to fail the spider flip, but then in the next tournament he came back with a vengeance and he did not let any of the stages stand in his way. In Tournament 7, Buddy Jumps turned the tables of Halo Ninja Warrior and climbed to the top of the final stage with time to spare. After six tournaments of nothing more than defeat, Buddy proved that the course could be done and inspired a whole new generation of competitors to strive for success on Halo Ninja Warrior. Buddy will always be remembered for his success in that tournament and even tournaments to follow as he managed to get to the third stage twice again after achieving total victory. Despite Buddy's tremendous accomplishments and his apparent success on this course, in the last tournament he had a tragic defeat, failing the second obstacle of the first stage. Buddy is known for his comebacks however, in tournament 8 he failed the half up attack on stage 1, but then in tournament 9 he made it back to stage 3. So, Buddy's here on stage 3 again, he's never failed the second stage. Oh jeez, he almost came up third, er, short of the third rope on rope junction, but he flew through the rest of the obstacle, nicely done Buddy. Now for the devil steps, onto the first one. Onto the second one, wow, Buddy's actually flying up this obstacle right now. Look at him go. Now he goes all the way to the top, nicely done. Buddy does not want to, he doesn't want to risk the big jump. And he's through the double steps now for the crazy cliffhanger. Can Buddy do it? We've seen three people fail it so far. Two of them failed this transfer. Come on, Buddy, you got this. He's lining up for the transfer. Come on, Buddy goes for it. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's safe jumping. Come on, Buddy. Can he save it? He's stuck the landing on the fourth ledge tonight, and he goes right in for the curtain cling. An obstacle he developed before, and he's done it. Buddy jumps, has cleared the crazy cliffhanger and the curtain cling. Amazingly done by our all star. Now for the jumping bars. He does a little save jump on the first one. Now he's on to the second one. Okay, he's going for the third one. Alright, he's lining up for the first rock. He's going to attempt the obstacle that no competitor has ever defeated. He's on to the second rock. Now he jumps up to the third rock. This is where Alpha Puma failed. Can he make it to the fourth rock? Come on, buddy. Oh, okay, he's lining up. He does not. He's not taking this one lightly. He's focusing on this jump. Oh, he's on it. Oh, no, he slips down. Buddy. Wow, buddy's still on. Oh, he's safe jumping. He's back down to the first rock, but he's still on the hang climb. An amazing save by Buddy. Now he's got a second chance on this obstacle. An un unpredicted second attempt he goes for it yes buddy has got the fourth rock he's only got one more and he's defeated the hang climb he goes for it and yes buddy has done it he's defeated the hang climb buddy slipped up once on the hang climb an obstacle that four competitors have ever attempted back in tournament three we saw hunting unit 751 fail the first rock and sleepy slayer 5 and drago 6 both fail getting to the second rock and now for the first time we've seen someone successfully climb to the top of this obstacle Buddy jumps, just demolished this obstacle, hitting that fifth rock and jumping right up, defeating the hang climb. Now he's got one obstacle left before he is done with the third stage. It's the pipe slider. He's onto the first pipe and he's sliding across. Now he's onto the second one. Okay, he's got to slide one more time and land on the last pole. Can Buddy do it? He's the first person to ever attempt this obstacle, he's onto it. Sliding across. You gotta go really slow here. Nicely done. He's on. Now he's just got one jump left. Okay, he's hugging up against the wall. Looks like he's sizing up this jump. He's got a technique. Buddy knows what he's doing. Okay. All right, he's backing up. Oh, he's walking forward a little bit. What's Buddy going to do? He goes for it, Buddy. Yes, Buddy has done it. He's cleared the third stage. Our grand champion and all-star has defeated stage three of tournament 12. 
a grand champion will be moving on to the final stage. Amazingly done. Look at that leap he did. And then he did a save jump just to secure his victory over the third stage. And Buddy Jumps will be moving on to the final stage. This is the second time Buddy has made it to the final stage. The last time he achieved total victory back in Tournament 7. Now we will see if we could possibly crown another grand champion. Even though it's the same grand champion. If we could crown Buddy grand champion twice. Give him two crowns. He'd look nice with two crowns. However, there's still one competitor remaining here on stage 3. One guy left with an opportunity to join Buddy on the final stage, and he is Hunter Unit 751. Hunter Unit 751 has competed in every Halo Ninja Warrior tournament and is here on stage three for his ninth time. Hunter was able to defeat the third stage back in tournament six, but has failed the third stage four times since then. Three of those failures were seen on the last obstacle of Stage 3, but in the last tournament when only he and Gotenks attempted Stage 3, he failed the bungee rope climb. This could be a problem for him as there is a new obstacle here, Rope Junction, that is similar to the bungee rope climb. However, Hunter has shown extreme determination on Halo Ninja Warrior and will not let his past failures get in the way of making it back to the final stage. Now, with one last shot to complete Stage 3, will we see two All-Stars wrap up Tournament 12 on the final stage? Let's see the final ever third stage run on the Xbox 360. Here he goes, look at Hunter Unit. He is very experienced here on stage 3. He goes for the pole vault, and he is across it. That's done now for rope junction. He failed an obstacle similar to this in the last tournament. It was a jump just like this one. Can he do it today? Oh, wow, he goes right for the fourth one. He doesn't waste any time on that jump. He didn't want to make the same mistake he made in the last tournament, and he's onto the devil's steps. Okay. Now he's on to the first step. He's got to jump up to the second one. He's taking his time here. That's good. I want to see Hunter clear. I want him to be careful. Okay, he's on to the third one. Now for the fourth one, is he going to jump across? No, I think he's going to go up. Okay, Hunter is all the way up to the top, and he jumps across. All right, now it's time for the crazy cliffhanger. This is an obstacle that he has never failed. The only time he failed the cliffhanger obstacle was back in the first ever Halo Ninja Warrior tournament. But he's on to the third ledge. Now for the transfer. Buddy and Alpha Puma have both defeated it, but Kill It a Man and Gotenks have both failed it. Let's see if Hunter can do it. He goes up, he jumps across, and yes, he's stuck the or he's not stuck it, but he's safe jumping on the fourth ledge. Come on, Hunter. He goes for the sprint jump, he jumps across. No, Hunter! He comes up short of the dismount of the crazy cliffhanger. Look at that. He caught the fourth ledge and he started doing safe jumps. It looked like it was gonna kick him off if he didn't. So it was a good idea for Hunter to start safe jumping, but when he went for the sprint jump, he didn't make the distance. He came up just short of the dismount platform, kind of like Gotenks did back in Tournament 9, except Gotenks didn't even sprint. Look at that. Oh yeah, it was clear right there. He didn't give a sprint long enough to give him more speed to make the distance. And Honey Unit 751 has failed earlier than expected here on Stage 3. That just shows how hard that crazy cliffhanger can be. But still, very well done to Honey Unit 751, competing in all 12 tournaments and always beating Stage 1. Uh, it's great to see him continue his success here on Halo Ninja Warrior. Well, Stage 3 has swallowed up five of the competitors who took on it, but it was not able to defeat Buddy Jumps. And now Buddy Jumps will attempt the final stage, the last hope of Tournament 12 of Halo Ninja Warrior. Buddy, this is your second time at the final stage. The last time was in Tournament 7 when you achieved total victory. And you were actually the first person to be the rank of All-Star to then reach the final stage after becoming that rank. Um, so how do you feel about making it back to the final stage? I don't know, man. <laughs> it looks pretty hard, and I'm just so relieved that I beat the stage three. And yeah, that, that was just too exciting for me. So yeah, I'll see what I can do. Now, in the last tournament, you failed the second obstacle of stage one, but now you've made it to the final stage. So, what do you think's up with that? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's just. Sometimes you practice more for Halo Ninja Warrior and sometimes not. But yeah, I went really hard. <laughs> you will have 30 seconds to reach the top, so do you think that you can get to the top in time? Maybe. It would definitely be cool. And yeah. Alright, well, good luck to you, buddy. Okay. This will be the 10th attempt ever on the final stage of Halo Ninja Warrior. And who better to attempt it for the last time ever 
on this Xbox 360 than the All-Star Buddy Jumps. Getting a little pat on the back from his fellow All-Star Hunter Unit 751 there. He stares down with glory here on stage four. This is a stage he has defeated in the past, one of only two to ever do so. Standing here for his second time at the final stage, one of only three competitors to ever make it to the final stage twice. But he's the only person to ever make it to the final stage twice who has once defeated it. He goes up to the final stage. As soon as our sniper up here shoots the landmine, that is when the timer will start, when Buddy will have only 30 seconds to reach the top. The seven time All-Star will be taking on for the final stage for the last time ever on Xbox 360 Halo Ninja Warrior. Can Buddy do the unthinkable and achieve Halo victory here? He's off, he's climbing. 30 seconds going up the heavenly ladder. And he's jumping back and forth from pole to pole. He looks like he's even faster than Gotenks was in the last two tournaments. Look at him go, he's climbing very nicely. Now I think this is the pull. He, Gotenks has failed, but he's gone further than Gotenks now. He's up, he's past the heavenly ladder. Now for the final rope, can Buddy get to the top? No, he slips up one, come on Buddy. You gotta keep climbing. He's climbing, he's climbing really fast. He's still got five seconds left, come on Buddy. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Come on, buddy, go, go. He goes for it. He's the landmine. But was it enough? I don't think it was. The timer says zero. We gotta go for a replay of that one. As you can see right here on the final row, buddy made a simple mistake when he was climbing. He missed one jump, but he immediately recovered and started climbing again. But as you can see right there, the timer had already hit zero by the time buddy hit the landmine, and that means buddy did not have enough time left to complete the final stage. And unfortunately, he has failed the final stage, an ops, or a stage that he's only attempted once before. But this new version of the final stage is just so tough. Even our grand champion, Buddy Jumps, can get to the time and fa uh, fast enough. He made one little mistake that cost him to the victory. But still, it was amazing to see Buddy make it back to the final stage one last time on the, Halo, on the Xbox 360 for Halo Ninja Warrior. Buddy, that performance will definitely be remembered forever on Halo Ninja Warrior. But unfortunately, he will not become the two-time Grand Champion. And with that, that brings us to the end of Tournament 12 and Halo Ninja Warrior on the Xbox 360. It was quite an incredible way to finish off this tournament and amazing to see Buddy come so close to achieving total victory once again. However, all 50 of our challengers were ultimately defeated. But now, we can look back on all the runs we've ever had here on Halo Ninja Warrior. Out of 500 ever attempts at this course, two proved to be successful, but each and every one of those 500 runs is the reason why I am here and why I hope you guys continue to watch. This course started back in November of 2012, and now, in 2015, we say goodbye to the Xbox 360. But we know it will not be forgotten. From Zombie King 98 to Hunter Unit 751, and every single run in between, we saw defeat, success, excitement, disappointment, and all of the enjoyability we could have gotten from these tournaments. It has been truly amazing to see such a great group of competitors from all around the world come together in order to attempt to defeat this difficult course, and I love each and every one of the competitors on my course and each of you who continue to watch my show. We've had friendships and goodbyes. But here on Halo Ninja Warrior, we have seen more dedication and enthusiasm than I could ever have hoped for. And you guys have made it all possible. 259 different competitors have attempted Halo Ninja Warrior, and over the two years of tournaments, it doesn't matter which position you got or which tournament you were in, because no matter what, you are part of this channel and you always will be. Thank you to everybody watching this video, and I hope to see you back on the Xbox One to continue with Halo Ninja Warrior.